Psalms, somebody grab Psalms, the 112th chapter. Uh -huh. Starting at verse 1. You dig? Okay, so that's the Those that rejoice that greatly in the most high commandments. commandments. And brothers, y'all got any scripts? Pull, pull them. Dig? We get our precepts. Y'all know how we do. Psalms, the 112th chapter. What do we teach? We teach according to this Bible that we are the children of Israel. Yeah. That Jesus was a black man according to the Bible. Um, that the Jews are black according to the Bible. Uh, that Christ will soon return, take all the heathen out, uh, and redeem you as his chosen people. Thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Holy Bible. Regardless of you believe it, accept it or not, Christ is on his way, America is done, Babylon will burn. The, wh not. the white man's kingdom is over. Believe it or not. Let's get this Psalms 112 chapter yeah, he wrote. <laughs> Believe it or not, if you won't. Get mad if you won't. It's a new day. The Lord on his way. Everybody there? Repent. Let's get it. Psalms 112 chapter. Let's get it. Praise ye the Lord. Praise who? Praise ye the Lord. Come on, Israel. Blessed is the man that fears the Lord. See, blessed is the man that fears the Lord. Not the little crimp or the little GD or the little vice lord. Blessed is he that fears the most high. Come on, he broke. That delighteth greatly in his commands. That delighteth greatly in the commands of God. Not no instruction from a man. Huh? huh? We delight greatly in the commandments of the most high. Love to do them. Come on, he broke. His seed shall be mighty upon earth. So if you are keeping the commandments of God, your children shall be mighty upon the earth. Yeah, this ain't what you hear in church on Sunday. Commandments, law keeping, statues, faith. Huh? Come on, Israel. His seed shall be mighty upon earth. Right. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Shall be what? Shall be blessed. So if you're trying to keep the commandments of God, that's how you get blessed. That's how you get prosperous. Not paying your pastor. Not paying your pastor. Huh? Not tripping off if Lil' Kim rap better than Nicki Minaj. That don't mean nothing. Huh? You think the Lord tripping off your little petty beef? Come on, Israel. Wealth and riches shall be in his house. Huh? And his righteousness endures forever. Forever. Come on, Israel. Unto the upright there arises light uh -huh. in the darkness. Uh -huh. He is gracious and full of compassion uh -huh. and righteous. If those are trying to do the will of God, that's how God is mercy. Righteous. Uh -huh. But you got to be doing the will of God so you can get his mercy. Other than that, you're an enemy. Come on, he broke. A good man showeth faith uh -huh. and lendeth. He will guide his affairs with discretion. Uh huh. Meaning he's discreet. Meaning he ain't just doing something sloppy. Wise. Huh? Wise in what he's doing. He plans it out. Come on, he broke. Surely he shall not be moved forever. Uh huh. The righteous shall be everlasting remembered. The, the the righteous shall be an everlasting remembrance. That's how you get you an everlasting memorial, testimony. Dig this. They still talking about Christ, and it's been two thousand years. Uh -huh. Let's see if they be talking about you 2,000 years from now. Uh, the righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. Come on, he broke. He shall not be afraid of evil tidings. Right, so we're not tripping off the New World Order. We're not tripping off the concentration camps or none of that. If you down with the Lord, he's going to protect those that's down with him. Period. Right? Hold that. He progressed Psalm 34 and 7 for us. Same with second witness to that. See, you tell you, if you're really down with the most high, you ain't tripping off the evil tags or evil reports. Oh, oh, you know, you know they gonna come lock all y'all up and chop y'all head off for this truth. Yeah, I expect that. They did that today. Sad red me, sad and a bad negro. Bad negro. And a bad negro, huh? Sad rack, knee shack, and a bad negro. <laughs> y'all he blew his brain. Every type of guy for this. Abraham was too. His own daddy was gonna be. Exactly. Somebody got that precept, Psalm 34? So, chapter 34. Like verse 6 and 7. Verse 6. What did it say, Israel? This poor man cried, uh -huh. and the Lord heard him. This poor man cried, poor man cried, the Lord heard him. And right? saved him out of all his trouble. Right? The angel of the Lord encamped round about the them. The angel of the Lord encamps around about them. Come on. 
that fur him. That fur him. So believe it or not, we got an invisible army around us. Mm. These brothers fear the Lord. So guess what? The angels of the Lord are around us, protecting us. Just like we just read in Psalms 112. Verse 7, we don't be afraid of the evil type. They can't touch you until it's your time anyway. Right? Come on, Israel. And deliver them. Oh, taste and see uh -huh. that the Lord is good. The most high, the God of Israel is good. Our God, your God, black man, woman, and child of America, you're Israelites. You're not no African American. You're not black. Uh, you're not a vice lord. You're not a GD. Guess what you are? You a child of God. Chosen child. Chosen child of God. Oh, that baffles the Nick Rodo. Hold on, y'all talking about the Bible? Yeah. You didn't know? Too busy giving pastor money? He ain't tell you what it is? Come on, That's Hebrew. Bad investment. Blessed is the man that trusts us in him. Oh, for the Lord, ye his sake. For there is no one to them that fear him. There is no one to those that fear the Most High. The Most High got those that got him or that's down with him. So either that's ain't gonna pay for you believe that. Uh, while the military ride right through your neighborhood. Get the camera on it, you bro. Turn the camera, look. They're going to be marching law soon. Go ahead, bro. Go ahead. See that five time of home set. Huh? Yeah, yeah. New World Order. Martial law pumping. Yeah, we know. You got that knee? Go ahead. Yeah. I got another win with that Revelation 2 and 9. So we understand. Revelation 2 and 9. I know thy works. And thy tribulation and poverty. But, but thou, thou art rich. Uh -huh. And I know the blasphemy of them that say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. And they got that Job, so we understand the most high got a hedge around his people. Right. Job was the upright man, he yeah. is shoot evil. Right, exactly. So I'm getting you straight to the meat. What did it say, Israel? And so the call and read it. Where you at? We had Job chapter one. Uh-huh. I'm gonna start at verse one and then go down. Let's get it. There was a man in the land of Uz, whose name was Job. That man was perfect and upright. And a man that feared God and eschewed evil. He feared the Lord and he hated evil. That's the point right there. Those that fear God hate evil. The Lord instructs us to hate what's wicked. You supposed to do that. Get out your feelings. You supposed to say, Christ hated what was wicked. He wasn't down with Satan sitting back high-fiving. Let's watch the game, dog. <laughs> no, you an enemy, right? It either is or it ain't. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, there, verse eight, get down to that. And the Lord said to Satan, "Hast thou considered my servant Job, uh -huh. that there is none like him in the earth, Beautiful. a perfect and upright man, uh -huh. one that fears God and ensures evil?" Then Satan answered and said to, said to the Lord. And said, Does Job fear God for not? Has not thou made a hedge about him uh -huh. and about his house and about all that has on every side? Thou hast blessed the work of his hands, and his substance is increased in the land. But put forth thy hand now and touch all that he has, that will curse thee to thy face. So we get to see that the Lord protects his people. The head, now even Satan recognized that. Yeah. So understand right. when you walk in and shoot evil and the most high, you walk in his ways, right. keeps his law, statutes, and commandments, right. you got it. You got it. Right. Got it. That's prosperity in his back. Why right. you saying that's the hedge right there? You want yeah. hey, grab Joshua 1, 7 and 8. Think about the prosperity. Because all that's true. But they think prosperity is Creflo Dollar or something. Right. They think prosperity is TD Snakes. Yeah. Huh? Cash flow dollar. According to the Lord. Because you think you out here riding around here getting it. High five. It ain't about that. You feel me? Your money ain't even money no more anyway. Real five money. Dollars. Real money is called M1 currency. Gold, diamond, silver, oil. You know, like he said in uh in Baby Boy, guns and butter. 
That's the real money that's worth some value. You got paper, man. That's not even money. It's not money at all. Your, your slave owners are still on it, and you killing your brethren over it. Because you think that's what prosperity is, but that's no not fear. prosperity. No, no back. Yeah, six to eight. All right, Joshua, chapter one, starting at verse six. That's a good one. Huh? Be strong uh -huh. and of good courage. Uh huh. For unto the people shalt thou divide for an inheritance the land. That's what, this is what Joshua is getting instructed: be a, be strong and of a good courage. The Lord always tells us never be afraid. Never. Come on, Hebrew. Which I swear to the fathers to give them. Uh huh. Only be thou strong and very courageous. Told him again, be strong and very courageous. You think David dropped the lion, scared of him? Shaking, tipped all oh, dog, I don't know. It was like, huh? like, his that it was like, his yeah. like his brothers. Like his brothers were shook. No, he had the faith. Like we come out here and put our neck on the line because we got faith. Same thing, same with Mordecai, he wouldn't bend that knee in the right. book of Esther. He's like, right. all right, y'all can bow. Right. This Hebrew ain't bow. I'm not bowing. Right. Y'all want to kill me before I bow. That nigga Mordecai. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Hebrew. <laughs> hey, oh, watch yourself on that curb. That curb kind of. Come on, Hebrew. Only be strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law, uh -huh. which Moses, my servant, command thee. So we are commanded. We are under orders to keep the charge of God. Period. Made Anybody tell you something different, they breath stank. They lying. Come on, he broke. With Moses, my servant, that commanded me, turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, uh -huh. that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. That you may prosper whithersoever you goest. You feel me? And that's what we're talking about here. You want to be prosperous according to the Bible, but you got to keep the commandments of God. So it ain't the big rims in the car?